Hi guys, Gail Sylvester here. Let's talk about budget, our favorite subject, right? So when we talk about budget, guess what happens? You become in control of your money and your money does not control you. So that means it does not control your mind, which means you don't lose sleep at night. That's a win-win all around. There's nothing more empowering than knowing exactly what you have in your bank account at the end of the week before the next pay period, then actually putting it into a budget form and knowing exactly what you can do. Biggest tip that I can always recommend, have two bank accounts. I want you to have one bank account for all of your home fixed expenses, mortgage payment, property tax payment, house insurance, utility. So we've got your hydro, we've got your gas, We've got internet and we've got hot water tank rental. Like these are the fixed expenses that we have every month. These don't change. Now, utilities, they go up and down, right? So based on consumption. So I really, really hope that you're on the monthly budget, which is a pre-authorized debit um, form of payment. So that way they're taking it out the same amount every month. That way there's no, there's no surprises, right? So if we do that, then what I'm going to have you do is take all those monthly expenses, add them all up, kind of, then you can, do, you can multiply it by 12. So that way you know exactly what your annual expenses are. These are the fixed expenses, right? The, these ones don't change. Then what I'm going to have you do is divide by 26. And that is, especially if you get paid every two weeks. So that is showing you that based on your monthly fixed expenses, how much it's costing you, every pay period. How much do you need to put every pay into that house account? So I want you to get out a piece of paper. I want you to go to your online banking and I want you to write all that down. Then I want you to multiply it by 12 and divide it by 26 because that's if you're on a bi-weekly uh, pay schedule. If you're on a weekly, divide it by 52. Either which way, I need you need to be in the know as to what are your fixed monthly expenses. Then what I want to have you do, so let's go round it up and I'll say it's 1200 bucks every two weeks. Every payday, so if your pay is 1500 every payday, because we're just using it, say, just on your income and we're not taking into account uh, a secondary income that's in the house, then what I want you to do is every pay, take $1,200 and transfer that into that house account. And then you're left with $300 for two weeks. And then hopefully we've got another, uh, like another income in the house because at $300 every two weeks, that should a lot for gas, that's groceries and that's entertainment. So that's, that's living, right? So that's what we're looking to do. If that is tight, we're going to do some budget cuts, right? Do you really need to have all of those, um, like Netflix prime, um, what's the other one? Um, I just, I just wrote blank, but there's all those different, like uh, Disney, right? Like there's Gaia, there's all these different monthly expenses that we have for TV. And are you actually using, or are you watching all of those channels or those stations? Kind of probably not. So it might have, you're like, it's only 10 bucks. But when you add up 10 bucks for Netflix, 10 bucks for Crave, 10 bucks for Prime, 10 bucks for, um, what's, uh, Disney, like that's 40 bucks plus tax, like we're up to 46 bucks a month. So that little 10 bucks adds up. So what I want you to do is maybe cut back. Just have one. Kind of go to the one that you watch the most. Yeah, and if you, you know what, maybe you can't see Yellowstone because you don't have Prime, right? Well, then that's where, maybe that's where we get social and we actually go over to a friend's house and we watch their Prime. Or we, like, you make something of it. It start, it's almost going back to the basics of what we used to do, like, in the 80s and 90s, where we didn't have all these luxuries and Maybe you don't need cable because how often are you actually watching cable? How? How often? It's summer. It's like, you know what? Stop it. Like, let's, we're all outside. Look at these little things that you can cut back on. And then that way, so maybe how much you have to put into that house account isn't going to be as grave. It's not going to be as high. So guess what? So instead of 300 that you have to spend every two weeks, maybe you've now got 330 or you've got 340 or you've got 350 because you've done the tweaks. And then maybe you don't go to Starbucks every day. Maybe you just start making your coffee from home. These are the little things that you have to look at to put money back in your pocket, right? So don't just like five bucks here, 10 bucks here, 20 bucks there. It actually, it really does add up. So print out, print out your, your monthly bank statements kind of thing. Just go online, print out the last 90 days 
highlight, get colored different highlighters, and actually write down to see where is your money going. And if you know where your money going is, is already going, kudos to you. So, and hopefully you're in control of that too. So the biggest thing I can say is the environment that we're in, let's take control, let's take the power back, and let's not tap here, pre-authorize this, pre-authorize that. And maybe it's not coming from your bank account, maybe it's coming from that credit card or that credit card or that credit card, so you're not seeing as dramatically. So this is where we actually need to um, get in control and be in control of your life, be in control of your finances. Get, be happy, be outside and have some extra cash.